Two women who were the victims of DV and femicide were both unalived by their ex-partners in front of their young children. Their cases have sparked public outrage and protests demanding justice and stronger measures to prevent violence against women. Today's stories come to you from Bosna and Herzegovina, which is where I'm originally from. Nizama Hetimovic was a 37-year-old woman who was unalived by her ex-husband Nermin Suleimanovic on an Instagram live stream on August 11th, 2023. Nermin was a bodybuilder and fitness instructor with a criminal record of de-trafficking and violence. A Bosnian bodybuilder took the life of his ex-wife while broadcasting the horrific incident live on Instagram. He proceeded to claim the lives of two more people while managing to elude law enforcement, ultimately choosing to end his own life the unsettling sequence of events began on a Friday morning. Foolish Manovic shared a video on his Instagram account for warning his followers that they were about to witness a live execution. Officials later revealed that approximately 12,000 individuals had watched the live broadcast of the slain. Nizama had reported Nermin for threats and abuse several times, but nothing, absolutely nothing was done. According to Balkan Insight, Hetimovic reported Suleimanovic for DV, but was too afraid to testify. According to the judgment, despite being afraid to testify, Hetimovic sought a restraining order due to fear for her safety and life. According to media reports, the authorities will also investigate how the information on Hetimovic's hidden location was leaked, which led to Nermin finding her. Another case that's eerily similar to Nizamas is the one of Alma Kadic. Alma Kadic was a 34-year-old who ended up moving in with her mom due to her DV. She had repeatedly filed for DV reports to police and social services. Eldin Hodic was under a non-molestation, sorry, non-molestation order and had been reported 150 times 